Hey everybody, it's Mike here, Mike's Road Page. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, time for a tropical update. It is um, Thursday, June 8th. A lot of buzz out there. The wrong kind of buzz. The uh, GFS has been all over this idea of a system coming up from the Caribbean in about 10 days. And I thought it was important to come on here and talk a little bit about it. Uh, I, I see it being shared a lot. Those scary you know, runs that look like it's hitting Texas to Florida. So we're going to break it all down for you and give you my thoughts on what's happening. It is June, so, you know, tropics are here, but uh, not a lot of support for that. So I guess the point of this video is to, uh, A, you know, take it for a grain of salt and uh, just kind of sit back, wait, and see. That's what we do. Um, June, though, here's your June months. We're gonna, I'm going to show you all the models and what's cooking, what that GFS is showing, a couple of things here and there history-wise. If you like this, too, by the way, make sure you like it, share it, comment. I'm trying to get this YouTube uh, channel uh, growing, especially here in 2023. Uh, but here's your typical hot spots for the month of June, and it's kind of where the GFS is saying, right? Sometimes we get these old uh, uh, tropical waves come across. We get a thing called the Central American Gyre, which I'm going to show you. Sometimes we get an old front, but this is generally where stuff happens in June. This is what everybody's seeing. This is uh, one run of about 20 now that the GFS has shown something about 10 days out. So, you know, not very confident right now on anything like this happening. Uh, the GFS is, is the only one showing it. Confidence is extremely low. GFS did very poorly last year. It did terrible last year. Uh, not a model that um, did, performed at all very well. So we're kind of waiting to see. Every year the, the models get kind of reset. They try different, you know, sometimes they get different data put into them. We're going to see how the models perform in this year. But, you know, again, the GFS is... And not a very believable run right now, especially when you keep seeing this hurricane over and over and over and over again. Uh, we do have some phenomenon that happens at this time of year. It's called the Central American Gyre. Could be this, what's brewing here in about 10 days. It's a general lowering of pressures across Central America. And you can sometimes have a storm pop out on the Pacific side. Sometimes you can have a storm pop out on the Atlantic Caribbean side. But it is something that happens, and it looks like some of the moisture is building to this one thing that you might be hearing a little bit about. It's just a general lowering pressures, rotations very broad across Central America. Sometimes a storm can pop out and on the Pacific side, Atlantic all is, deals with timing of tropical waves that are coming across. And there are quite a few tropical waves right now. Um, this is the current uh, surface analysis map. And there, look, there's four solid waves. The first ones uh, came across already in the Pacific side. We got three of <coughs> behind, excuse me. Wave train is what they call them, right? Chugga, 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 chugga. Um, Woohoo. So, tropical waves help get things going. We do have tropical waves. So, the idea that the GFS is 100% wrong is incorrect. There, there always is a chance in the tropics. Tropical waves would help ignite something if something were to try in about 10 days. Okay, let's take a look at all the models here. Let's um, show you this first. So, here's the latest GFS. So we go to tropicaltidbits.com. We can look at all the individual runs. This is uh, a pressure map showing you lowering pressures. Lowering pressures are blue, and that's generally a sign of something tropical, low pressure developing. This is what the GFS is showing. If we go to the 18th here, boom, right here, 18th. It's been about the time frame, 10 days from now. Low pressure could be a tropical wave. No, notice on both sides of the Central America here, we got low pressure, low pressure. But this is what... The GFS is showing something building going into the Gulf every run for the last five days. It's gone from Texas to Florida. It's the only one though that is showing that the Euro just came out this afternoon. Nothing hasn't shown it yet. Canadian model hasn't shown it yet. So again, GFS is the outlier. Um, but what is interesting, this is the uh, moisture map here on uh, the Euro. Just showing you how, going back to possibility of something down there brewing. Uh, brown is drier than normal. Green is uh, wetter than normal. Moist. And uh, as we get into that, that 18th time frame, you can see some moisture coming across. Right here, this big old blob of green. See it? Kind of kind of signs we can see some tropical juice entering that same general area. Um so again, we'll 
play that one by year. Uh, your probability map, let's show you this little guy first. Um, this is a generalization, basically uh, tropical depression, the weakest form of anything to form. Uh, gives you a good idea, highlighted colors, areas of the euros, thinking that if we were to get something tropical, again, 18th, 19th, 20th, a lot of Pacific action, very little here on the Atlantic side. Not to say it can't happen, just saying the euro has, has been leaning to more of a Pacific wave passing through and forming, but there are a little bit of color here. Ensembles are always a great tool. Let me show you here what's cooking with the ensembles. Ensembles, so this is the GFS ensembles. GFS ensembles are 31 little brains of the GFS, and they all come up with their own scenario of what's going to happen in the tropics. So generally, your main GFS run, the one that I showed earlier with the, the hurricane, takes a, a blend of all those 31 little brains. So in order to see some sort of... Um, confidence you want to see a lot of ensembles picking up on an area so the gfs has a few uh, of, the, of its own ensembles showing so let's fast forward to the 20th here right here here's the 20th got a few little systems popping north you got almost double popping in the pacific again that idea that we got a lot of juice down here coming in the 18th 19th 20th and there are a few ensembles not a lot a lot more down in the pacific just pointing that out the European ensembles here, um, going to the, about the 18th, 19th, start to see some buildup in the Pacific, and really nothing on the, the Caribbean side. So again, the European do, doesn't think like the GFS. You go out 15 days here, the GFS has a full-blown hurricane, and the Gulf Euro isn't. So again, that's keeping on that, keeping on that thinking that you know. GFS being shared everywhere. Everybody's thinking there's going to be a hurricane. That's the number one question I got in this morning's Daily Brew is, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? There's a little bit of panic in the air. At this point, very low confidence um, of that happening. A couple of things climatology will tell you. <clears throat> so from 1991 to 2020, pretty recent data, 30 years of data, our first hurricane usually is around August 11th. That is the average hurricane august 11th that's like two months from now so yeah it could happen in june it could happen in july but history says our first hurricane usually is in august 11th a couple of those gfs runs had a major hurricane and that typically is september 1st before we get our first name so you know name system june 20th right on par right that's the average first name system so yeah you know you can see something maybe in that area but but the hurricane this time of year. And let me show you a couple of things while I'm really doubting it. Water temperatures. Here's a map here on tropicaltidbits.com. Water temperatures have cooled off a little bit in the Gulf. This is your anomaly based on 30 year averages. And you can see the water temperature was hot a couple weeks ago. I should save that for a whole different video, but we've had a persistent high pressure coming in from the Northeast. We've had a lot of cooling winds across the East Coast down into the Gulf of Mexico. And we've had a strong Pacific jet uh, not allowing a big high pressure to build for that heat dome that we normally see this time of year some, sometimes. So the waters have cooled below normal. So the waters aren't as hot as you would think they would be, need to be for an explosive hurricane that the GFS has shown. So the waters are a little bit below normal to, to normal, you know, right around normal to below normal uh, for a big half of the um, eastern part of the gulf so you know water temperatures aren't out of this world is what i'm getting at other thing too is looking at the shear map shear is the upper level winds in order for a storm to develop strong like a hurricane you need to have light upper level winds so storms can rise and stack and become a, a more larger unit but when you have wind shear in the 40 50 knot range that pretty much chops off thunderstorms keep systems from organizing maybe induce some wind uh some dry air who knows wind shear is 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 not good for hurricane development the gfs here on the 20th showing strong uh pacific jet stream which we have been seeing a lot of so even the old gfs even though it's predicting a system this is the 18th uh it's also saying there's going to be a lot of wind shear so it's kind of hard for a system to get to develop under that wind shear. 
the euro the same time frame let's rewind it's about the about the 18th here you go wind shear 20th wind shear that's a lot of wind shear so that, that's another very hurdle in order for the gfs to be right another hurdle for it um that i would have to you know cross so so that's it um you know just wanted to uh say that hurricane is out there people are sharing it still very low chance in my opinion unprofessional opinion remember i am not a meteorologist i am just mike um but you know i just wanted to put my thoughts out there on this early season system the gfs is showing and, and i'm curious like everybody else i'm watching it every run i'm watching every ensemble it does look like we could have a little juice down there uh a wave possibly so we'll keep an eye on it for sure but until we get other models picking up on it don't worry bottom line because I, I feel a little tension out there people seeing that gfs model so all right last but not least here on my website mike's weather page right here this little guy right underneath the t-shirt it is father's day coming up click on that you get a 10 percent discount off a of tempest weather station i have one i absolutely love it it's the coolest thing ever there's a million features on your app online uh and you get 10 percent off by clicking that link and father's day is coming so maybe dad would like a like a weather station <laughs> all right well there you go a little little snap a little short video here on what's cooking possibly likely unlikely as at this point uh, we'll see see you tomorrow it's friday we'll see you for the daily brew every monday through friday 9 19 eastern right here same time same place